it's Pascal Hutton and Kevin Smith. How you doing? We cannot wait for you to see our movie, which is airing tomorrow on Hallmark Channel called You Had Me at Aloha. Had me at but, Aloha. But to kick things off, Kevin, what are we going to do? Well, Hallmark Channel has sent us a few questions. So we're going to do a little question and answer for everybody. So do you want to go ahead and read the first one? I sure do. Here All right, it is. Look at that. You both have been working or have worked together on many amazing projects together in the past, including When Calls the Heart and the Perfect Bride franchise. Without giving away too many spoilers, Kevin, can what? you share what makes You Had Me at Aloha special and why the viewers will enjoy watching Ben and Paige love story unfold? Hmm. I'm glad you asked me that, Pascal, because I have, a, I have an answer waiting for you. I think the fans are going to be really excited about this one. And I think what sets this one apart from some of the other stuff, stuff we've done is that we chose individually exactly what we wanted to do. This project sort of started with us um, getting jealous over a friend of ours shooting a movie in Fiji. So we kind of plotted. And as we were plotting, we got to choose exactly the show we wanted to do. And I think as is always the case with you and I, it was about trying to make each other laugh and have fun. And I think more than any other show, that's what this one was kind of from beginning to end. Totally. I think the whole thing was just about you and I wanting to have an adventure and have fun and have that be on camera and off camera. But to that end, I feel like the biggest adventure element of the movie is the fact that we got to film it in Hawaii and that really sets it aside from everything else we've done. That's the other star of the movie and it really does shine in this movie. We filmed in so many cool locations and we really highlighted all the elements of Hawaii that make it spectacular. And so, I mean, that's just very different than anything else we've gotten to do. That's true. We got to shoot in Hawaii and that was great. I think it would be even greater if we got to do it again and go somewhere else <laughs> yes, and keep going. Yes. Why stop here? <laughs> Why stop here? Why stop exactly. here? I mean, you and I were on the plane and we were literally going, like scheming, going, okay, how can we do yes. it again? How can we get back there? That was so Exactly. Amazing. Exactly. I mean, we're, it sort of seems like that's a theme with us. We're always scheming for something. <laughs> but anyway, since you mentioned that thing about Hawaii, I'm going to segue to question number two. Yes. <laughs> There are so many beautiful locations you filmed in Hawaii. Can you both share what a few of your favorite locations uh, on set were and any scenes that you can't wait for the viewers to watch? I can't wait for the viewers to watch this whole movie. I'm just so proud of it. I feel like uh, this has like quintessential Kevin and Pascal stamped all over it. It's light, it's funny, it's quick, it's lots of banter, but on top of that, we filmed, uh, as the question asks, in so many amazing places. One was Waimea Falls, which is mm -hmm. up on the North Shore with the waterfall and this beautiful hike that led up to the falls. That was amazing. We were filming at the Kahala Resort, which was a dream because it was an amazing resort because we got to stay there too, yes. which was awesome. But then the beach there was so nice. And then... Um, where else did we film this? Are you like, just going to go through all of the locations? Or are you going to leave maybe any because for me? Each one, didn't you Do I get like to say anything? <laughs> didn't you feel, though, that each one we went to, it was just like, we think it was like the best location, and then we get to the next location, we go, oh, well, yeah. look yeah, at this. No, this no, is amazing. No, that's, that's really true. I loved shooting at that uh, Kualoa Ranch. I found that was really just the history of what's been shot there over the years. And I took a couple of uh, videos of that, just that that valley as the sun came up on the horizon. That was that was pretty amazing. They so were all really don't amazing. Know. The Kulo Ranch was where Jurassic Park was filmed and yeah. Jumanji and basically any movie that films in Hawaii ends up filming there because it's yeah. just that quintessential Hawaiian landscape Tropical and environment. Yes, yeah. the mountains and the jungle and it's so lush and picturesque and uh, the ocean right, like literally right there. It, right there. Everything about it was just spectacular. We were so lucky to be there. And then as far as favorite scenes that I think, I, I agree, I want people to see the whole thing because I think this one is really fun kind of from beginning to end. But I'm most excited about the scenes where you and I were teeing off on each other in the beginning. I thought that was, a, those were a lot of fun. 
for those of you who don't know us, we like to make each other laugh. So in the beginning, we have a few scenes where we have to, where our characters don't get along. And those were a lot of fun to shoot. I wish we could show all the, the bloopers from those scenes, but... Um, one yeah, because us. John, our director, he just let us go sometimes. He just yeah. keep the camera going and just let the two of us kind of go back and forth forever. Yeah. Some of them went on for forever. <laughs> they, 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 yeah, way too long. Yeah, John Putch. Shout out to John Putch, our director. He was fantastic. Okay, go ahead on number three. What do you think? Okay, hang on one second. Number three was, oh, so outside of production, while we weren't filming, uh, where did we go and did we have any exciting adventures or visit any cool places while staying in Hawaii? And that was that was so much fun, right? Because yes. every weekend you and I would basically go grab a coffee, I'd grab a matcha, and we'd just say, okay, where are where we to? going? Where what's to? the next destination? Yeah. <laughs> what's well, the, the first, next destination? Very funny. So clever, so <laughs> clever. Um, well, the first thing that we did, the very first day off we had which was i think a sunday we drove up to uh kailua remember that yes, and we took all the pictures on that kind of volcanic lava rock stuff and went out to the beach and everything so that was that was super fun yeah it's a beautiful beautiful beach as so many of the beaches in in yeah Hawaii there was a bad one we didn't really have many bad <laughs> we went to one bad this beach. is a dud <laughs> yeah this sucks i'm never going back to this beach but that coffee thing was essential that's it's so nice that my friend and my coworker here likes her matchas as much as I like my coffees. So it's sort of a ritual every morning we have off. I'll go find the best coffee in whatever town I'm in. And Kevin was on a mission. He like, always on a mission. Few, first two or three days, he said, "Okay, I've Googled all the best coffee places on yeah. Oahu, the whole island. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try them all." So basically, after four days, you had tried them all. And I did. We, we zeroed in on the one that had the matcha. combination of the best coffee and the best matcha. And that's okay. where we would go. What was that place called? Was it called oh. Ali'i? Yeah, Ali'i Coffee. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So and we good. loved that place. Oh, my gosh. So we were every good. day. <laughs> yeah, every single day. So much oh. so, actually, that when we came, we would, Kevin sometimes had a later call time than me. So he would go and grab them. But sometimes... He wouldn't bring me back a matcha, and the, the I made that mistake once or twice. <laughs> because then at the at the um, the valet, yeah. it was this wonderful lady, and she came up to me. She said, "I noticed he didn't bring you back a coffee today. He went just so you know. He went and got himself <laughs> a coffee, and he didn't bring you one." She I ran said, you out. So she I told her. I, you out. I know. Said, I told deal? this woman. Where's I'm like. <laughs> I know. I told her, I'm like, hey, she's my friend. She's not my wife. <laughs> you know, we, we make pretend. But uh, what? It, yeah. So we did those. What else did we do that was well, kind of you, you, you touched on it because it was one of the places we did. We did stop at was but was that Helona blowhole, which was spectacular. We just were driving along the highway and we saw it and we, we both of us were like, whoa, 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 what's that? What's that? And there was this tiny little like pull out where you could park your car and yes there were, all, there were actually all these signs saying don't climb over the fence but everyone was climbing over the fence and we thought well if they're gonna get down there we are too we're going so to we climb and all this lava rock and the geysers and the explosions of water and these waves crashing and it was spectacular it was it was amazing yeah, it was and then the day we went up to the north shore Sat, yeah, on, which, sat on the beach for a while. That was Yeah, really we went to Sunset Beach and then we just so many cool little shops up there. Yeah, it was really cool. And then on a totally weird tangential note, there was a couple behind us that were totally making out. It was really weird. Okay. And on that note, <laughs> let's let's move along to number four. Okay. <laughs> we're still talking about locations. Not only are the locations in Hawaii breathtaking. But the food is spectacular. Are there any dishes that you tried while you were there? Um, what, were you, what was your favorite one to visit? Oh, well, there's yeah. one. There's one. Now, I'm gonna. Like. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with this one. So she gets bored with me after a while and no longer wants to hang out with me. She. Get, I got a few days and then she wants to go do her own thing. But we had planned to go to this one place that was a local hot spot and they were had this local hawaiian cuisine and i was dead set on trying it so she had ditched me one day and i was like well i'll give her a chance so i texted her i said are you coming are you gonna go we're gonna go do this thing 
She said, no, I think I'm just going to chill. So I said, well, I'm going to go. And right away, she's like, well, if you're going to go, I got to go. So give me five minutes. <laughs> I didn't want to be left behind. Didn't, and it ended up being one of the most fun days we had. It we, was. It was. We went to the, so it was the Wai Holy Poi factory. Yes. And it was this authentic Hawaiian food. And it was really an adventure. It was quite squid an adventure. Luau. Quiz, squid, squid Luau. Squid Luau. Squid Luau. Squid Luau. It was, cr it was crazy. I mean, it was flavors we'd never tried. It was very exciting. The one I will say that we had to eat a lot of in the movie was the Kalua pork. And yeah. that was delicious. Our props yeah. master, he made it. Yes. Um, he was quite the chef, actually. So he made it for us uh, fresh. And it was delicious. it was it was delicious. Thank goodness, because we really had to eat quite a bit of that in the movie. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, we did. That was really good. That was a good spot. OK, um, moving right along, moving right along. I will ask the next one. You both had have not past tense. You both have. <laughs> we had it's <laughs> over now. Right down the toilet. You both have amazing on-screen chemistry together. When you're filming a new project, is it easy for the both of you to jump into a new character and develop that strong connection on camera? Well, the short answer is yes, of course it does help. I mean, when you when you know somebody well and when you know that person's there to support you and not only support you, but you know want you to do well so that they can do well, and anytime you have a history with somebody, I think it's almost impossible to keep that off the screen. You have a shorthand with everything. Um, I think both Pascal, we have this kind of ongoing thing that's very funny. We don't really, <laughs> we don't really compliment each other very much. You know, because there's a bit of a rivalry. It's like when who, somebody does really good, the other, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, it was, it was good. Well, we got to take each other down a few notches. <laughs> True, but it's what's nice about that is when you do get a compliment, when you actually do come up to me and say, hey, that was really good. I'm like, well, she must have meant that because there's like, I could count them on one hand how many compliments I've gotten over the years. So the, the, the chemistry thing is, is quick to reignite, I think, in any project that we do because you have that, that, that friendship as the base and it makes it quite easy. What do you think? Yeah, and what I would say is, although this project, the characters are so different than the characters we play on, particularly When Calls the Heart, which are the characters, Rosemary and Lee, that's what most people know us as. Yeah. And these characters are literally, I feel like, for both of us, the opposite of Rosemary and Lee. <laughs> yeah, because, kind of. Because we were with these characters right from conception and kind of all along the way of developing this script and developing these characters, um, I felt like it was really, it was quite natural to drop into these. Once we were actually finally in Hawaii and um, filming, it felt very natural. Yeah, they fit. They fit really quickly. And then the other people that we brought in, like Valen and, and Jen, just kind of fit so nicely in there too. Yeah. And it all, it was just sort of a seamless. Yeah, everything, just all the pieces fell into place. We, we went to Hawaii. We didn't know John Putch, our director. We didn't know Jen Aspen, who plays one of the characters in the show, but also was our producer. Um, we obviously didn't know Valen yet, and we didn't know any of the crew. And Kevin and I said to each other, you know, okay, there are, there are a lot of unknowns, but at least we have each other. We know that we'll be able to have a good time. The two of us will be able to kind of bounce it back and forth. And then we got there and we met everybody and we were on set and we thought, oh my gosh, we've won the jackpot. This is phenomenal. It's our it's our A-team right here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it was really good. I still don't think we know John Putch though. <laughs> he's, he's very funny, very funny director. He'd appreciate that joke. Uh, um, yeah, I guess that was, yeah, that's in a nutshell. It would just, it would, as I think that it had been such a long time building this project that when we finally got there, I think we were both surprised at how easily we just all sort of fit into it. The actual shooting of it, I think, exceeded our expectations. Often, I think it's the opposite. You pitch something or you make a project, you get in, you have to make so many sacrifices along the way and who knows what you'll end up with. I, I feel that the more people we brought on board, the more time that went on, the better the project got. And then when Truly. we finally... Truly. Yeah, yeah, it really was. And then when and then we just had to, you know, show up and do our thing at the end. And, and it just kind of ended up being seamless. I hope. Yeah. I hope. I hope we're not the only two people that like this. That we like haven't this seen show. the final cut, so. That's true. I just got it. So I'll watch it today. OK, here, I'm going to go. I'm going to go on with number six. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Now, if you were cast in another movie together, 
which location would Not you like to go to? No. <laughs> I really hope there. I really hope it is. I don't want it to stop. I want to keep going. But uh, where would you go? Like, let's say theoretically, this show does a sequel. Where would you want it to go? Well, I mean, oh, you know, obviously we brainstormed this so many times. Yeah, it's exactly. This isn't the first time you've been asked this question. Where to next? Yeah. I always said that I thought if we're talking about a sequel to this particular movie, I always thought that a really two really cool locations for a sequel would be either Iceland or mm -hmm. Ireland, the two eyes. <laughs> but I thought both of those would lend themselves to kind of this idea of a travel show within a movie kind of concept and would be really fun. And so those would be my, and I haven't been to either of those places. So, you know, that we're always looking for an excuse to pair a personal vacation with shooting a movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it used it used to be that we were just really happy to work as actors. Then it's like, well, we really want to work together as actors. Now all of a sudden, it's our mandate to travel the world and continue <laughs> working together. It's yeah. not a bad existence if you can get it. I think I, I we haven't been to those two places. I agree. I haven't been to Ireland or Iceland in my personal life either. So uh, those would be cool. They'd be fun. They fit with the show because there's a lot of things to see there and it's different landscape and stuff. But I like warm weather. <laughs> I I will I want to go. We can go in the summer. Yeah. Well, it's still not going to be warm. Neither of those no, places are tropics. like hot we're spots. We're not going to be tropics. It's true. You don't go see beach resorts in either of those destinations. So you want to go to Fiji? That's where you want to go. I think maybe Tahiti or Bora Bora would be really cool. But then I'd also like to go to Europe. I think things like uh, Rome would be fun, and and Paris, and I know they've they've done a bunch of those, but. I, I'm up for anything. I know in the script we kind of talk about Morocco, and I've been there. I spent about six months in Morocco, and that would be really interesting. That would be fun. It's hot. It's hot. There you go. Desert. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hot <laughs> desert. Uh, okay, should we? Well, take those this are our questions that, yes. uh, from all of you that we have now answered, but we also have a trivia game. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, let's wrap it up. We're gonna do so. These are trivia questions. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we win anything? Does anybody get anything if you get them right? They didn't tell us that, right? So let's give away a prize. Hallmark has no, they'll have to give something up. You get the holiday at the Kahala Resort. Oh, oh God, I don't think they're trouble. gonna give oh, that. No, no. They're not gonna give that up. <laughs> we'll figure the, we'll uh, figure no, the prize no out prize, later. But you get to fantastic, fantastic. You did well, but okay. okay. I will ask the first question. Go. But we'll both answer it because neither of us know the neither of us know the answers to these no questions. Way. So no it'll be a real true test. How well did we learn Hawaii? Okay. Um, what is the official Hawaiian state flower? A, the Pasque flower. B, yellow hibiscus. Three, camellia or camellia. I'm not sure. D, Hawaiian gardenia. Mm. Have it. What do you go with? A, B, C, or D? Well, the Pasque flower sounds like somebody was t trying to make fun of Pascal. So I'm going to say no on it. It's Easter. Pasque is Easter. <laughs> yeah, I know. But Easter flower in Hawaii? That doesn't make any sense. Yellow hibiscus. Yellow in Hawaii. That, and I know there's hibiscus there. Uh, camellia. I don't know what that is. Truth is, of course, I don't know what any of these are. Um, or Hawaiian gardenia. That seems too obvious. I'm going with B, yellow hibiscus. You? Whoa, whoa. Your your answer took 10 years. I fell asleep. Well, you took nine years asking the question. I figure I owed it some some, some kind of response. I say yellow hibiscus as well, because that's the only flower I remember seeing. Ah, we were right. We were right. Success. Okay, uh, okay. I will, I, I'll go to the next one. Here we go. Next one. Which island has the most waterfalls? Maui, A, B, Oahu, C, the big island, or D, Kauai? What do you think? I am going to say Kauai. That's what I would guess too. I think Kauai no is known for being the the most wet of the islands, I think. And so I feel like that would, ah, we both got it wrong, the big island. Oh, you're such a loser. I didn't get a chance to answer. I was going to say C, you big said island. I was going to say Kauai as well. No, no, I, I got that right. Okay, go ahead. 
Uh, what is the most popular fruit in Hawaii? A, coconut, B, pineapple, C, mango, D, papaya. Okay, I knew I had there was going to be an opportunity for this. Oh, Wait no. for it. Wait oh, no. for it. Wait for it. There's my answer. Oh, my God. The pineapple. They were literally everywhere. It has to be the pineapple. I agree. I don't think coconut is coconut an actual fruit or is that considered okay, a Okay, come on. Don't get all technical. Fine. I'll go B. Ah, oh, I was right. I was right. Nine. It's all about you yeah. anyway. I'll just keep these on now. Okay. Um okay. What what? Question. Yes. What is the tallest mountain in Hawaii? A uh, You want to say that one? <laughs> Kamako? Uh, Kamako? 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 Yeah. Um, let's hope it's not that one so we don't have to say it again. Uh, Mauna Loa is B. Uh, Mauna Kea is C. And D, Kilaue? 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 Well, we butchered that one. <laughs> They're probably going to want to cut this off. I'm going to say Mauna Kea because I can say it. Okay. I'm going to say Mauna Kea as well. Nice. Yay! We're Yay! Right Woo! So we both get to stay at the uh, at the hotel again. That was the prize. So Hallmark has to pony up for that. Uh, this has been so much fun. Um, thank you all for joining us for this uh, Facebook Live. Uh, and don't in. forget, don't forget to tune in to our brand new movie starting tomorrow. You had me at Aloha, and you can kind of check in on social media with the hashtag hashtag You had me at Aloha. Uh huh. Uh, on what Hallmark time is channel. it? What time is it? I don't know what time it is. I think check your local listings. The <laughs> way to play it safe. Uh, I... Nine, eight central. There, there we, go. we go. All right, everybody, please tune in because we want to go somewhere else. Thank you. Bye. Bye.